Hi, I'm Ty Countryman of the Lakewood Police Department Traffic Unit. I'm here today to tell you everything you need to know to safely operate and legally operate a low power scooter in the city of Lakewood. The scooters are fuel efficient and a lot of people are starting to see how much fun they really are. A scooter is the perfect vehicle for warm weather and short trips to work or to shop in your community. As gas prices rise, you're sure to see more of these mighty minis on the road. State and local laws control the operation of low power scooters on the street. If you buy one, you need to be aware of the regulations for driving them. A low powered scooter differs from a motorcycle in that it has no manual clutch. Also, if a scooter is gas powered, its engine must be under 50 cc's. Anything larger is classified as a motorcycle and you must have a motorcycle endorsement to be able to drive it legally. If the scooter is electric, to qualify as a low-powered scooter, it cannot have more than 4,476 watts of electricity. Low-powered scooters used to be known as motorized bicycles. They're made by a variety of manufacturers and, as you can see from their size and price, clearly are not toys. There are some toy vehicles that look similar to low-powered scooters, but toys can be ridden on the sidewalk. Low-powered scooters, by comparison, must be driven on roads. If you drive a low power scooter on a bike path in a park, you can be ticketed. And one more word about toy vehicles like the stand-up scooters. It's okay to ride them on the sidewalks. They're not allowed to be ridden on the roadways or even in the bike lanes. That's the key difference between the low power scooters and the stand-up scooters. In order to operate a motorized vehicle like a low power scooter, you must have a valid driver's license or a valid miner's driver's license. Colorado law states that eye protection must be worn by anyone who is riding or driving a scooter. If you're under the age of 18, you must wear a helmet when on a scooter along with the required eye protection. The police department recommends that wearing a helmet is the safest thing to do all the time. Also, remember that you must obey all traffic signs and lights when riding a scooter, just as if you were driving a car. It's illegal to drive faster than 40 miles an hour on a low power scooter, so obviously these scooters are not allowed on the interstate highways. Although low powered scooters are required to be driven as close to the right side of the road as practical, it's okay to ride two abreast. When making a left hand turn, be sure to use turn signals or hand signals to let other drivers know your intentions. Most low power scooters are designed to carry only one person at a time. It's illegal to carry more people than a scooter is designed for. A scooter can also be driven in a bicycle lane as long as that lane is on the roadway and not a bike path through a park. Low power scooters are street vehicles and not allowed on the sidewalks. And while license plates aren't required on low power scooters, registration decals are. You can purchase a Department of Motor Vehicles registration for just $5 where you buy your scooter and it's valid for three years. This decal must be placed on the scooter in an obvious area. All set to go. Yep. Yes. Cool. When buying a scooter, especially a used scooter, you need to make sure that it is street safe. Colorado law has specific requirements to help you in making that decision. Your scooter must have a permanently attached seat, there should be a headlight on the front of the scooter and a red reflector on the rear of the scooter. And of course, it must have a brake for stopping. One last requirement, it must have a horn or a bell, some kind of audible warning device. We're here with Jack Starr, the general manager for RPM Motorsports. Jack, can you tell us why these scooters have become so popular? Ty, they've become real popular over the past few years because of a couple different reasons. Um, gas prices obviously have gone up and um, these are uh, able to be driven around town without uh, a motorcycle endorsement. So Jack, when a person buys a scooter like this one here and they're ready to ride off the lot, what safety information do you give them before they leave? Well, we always recommend that you wear a helmet, eye protection, gloves, um, anything to keep you safe. We want to make sure the person can actually operate the scooter. And uh, we make sure that they we ride around the parking lot and, and make sure that they're okay with it. And then we want to make sure they understand uh, the proper roads to run them on. You know, um, 40 mile an hour machine shouldn't be ridden down 6th Avenue or Wadsworth, but uh, the, uh, the streets, uh, smaller neighborhood streets and stuff like that. 
And then we want to make sure they know that they need to have insurance on them and get them registered with the state. And we register all the ones that leave here um, with the motorized bicycle registration. And there you have it. Everything you need to know on how to legally operate a low power scooter. Now let me give you a few more thoughts on how to safely operate a low power scooter. Remember to drive and ride defensively. Be smart when you're on the city streets. Wear safety gear like eye protection and a helmet. It's also a good idea to wear bright colors and reflective clothing. Don't dart out of driveways or surprise other drivers by scooting into the street from between parked cars. Yield the right of way to people and animals, and don't carry anything so big or heavy that you can't see around it. And remember, drive with both hands on the handlebars. Be smart, be safe, and you'll never see someone like me from this point of view. So once you get your scooter, you're all set to go. So here's a quick review over the things you've learned about how to safely operate a scooter on the streets in Lakewood. Must I obey driving regulations? Always. If you fail to stop at a red light or a stop sign, you can be ticketed just like anyone else who did the same thing while driving a car or a truck. Can I ride in the park? No. Low power scooters must be driven on the roadways. Do I need a driver's license for a low power scooter? Yes, but not a motorcycle license. Do low power scooters need license plates? No, but a Department of Motor Vehicle Registration is necessary. A registration is valid for three years and can be purchased from scooter dealers. Do I have to be insured? Yes, as of July 1st, 2010, the law will read any vehicle driven on the roadway or street must have insurance. The new law now includes scooters. So how'd you do on the review? Great. Good. If you missed anything, you can watch this video again at www.lakewood.org. And just remember, common sense and good judgment will go a long way ensuring your safety of you and others while you ride on the streets in Lakewood. So, have fun, be safe, and thanks for watching.